Another very beautiful sunrise. Haven't had a really beautiful sunrise like this in a while. Almost makes worth getting up this early, you know? When it's this cold out, you gotta be careful about the frost accumulation on the deck. It'll take a spill way too early for that. Okay. Way too long. That's that diesel smoke. Took way too long to start that. I think mostly it's because of the cold, but here's the frost that I was talking about. only because I was moving it around but that is all on that deck so wherever you step it's slippery oh here comes the sun here comes the sun na, 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 na. for those of you saying you have a tough time sleeping on anchor go out there travel 50 plus nautical miles a day or if you're on the ICW, 50 statue miles. And give yourself no option but to anchor. Do not have a back out marina. Just be on the plan of anchoring everywhere you go. After that third day, you will rely on that anchor set. You'll be so tired that, honestly, you'll think that you are dragging and you just gotta sleep through it. <laughs> but no. You'll think you're dragging, but you're really not. But if you did actually think you were dragging, I do recommend just getting off your sleep butt, get up there and check in your boat, because it's always important to know the condition of your boat, especially if you're just in your bed and on the boat. It's uh, day three of the ICW traveling. Already getting sick of it. <laughs> just motoring along, nothing too exciting. There are times when you have to really be looking that you're in that channel, 15 to 30 feet wide. And if you're not in that channel, directly out of the channel is two feet, three feet, you're on ground. So if you don't stay perfectly in that channel, it could be bad news. Some of these bays, such as the uh, Albemarle Sound, which we're going through today, they are, they look like a huge bay, it's kind of like this around us, just you're not really traveling in a river essentially, but the only way you can travel is through that channel. If you don't, you're aground. And if it's a windy day on the Albemarle Sound, the wind could push you out of the channel and into the ground. So, lucky for us, I think it's gonna be a great day to be traveling the Albemarle Sound. It's gonna be a better day than yesterday, so, pretty excited. A little something for those of you who are unfamiliar with the ICW. We're in it right now, and it looks like this. Some of you may think it may look like a river at all the, all the time, but we're actually in the Albemarle Sound. It looks like we're in kind of like the open ocean, but we're really not. We're inland. We're in the inner banks, as they call it here. Alligator River Bridge Tender. Alligator River Bridge Tender. This is sailing vessel parity, headed southbound. Looking for your next available bridge opening, please. Yes, ma'am. Can you get a little bit closer to me before I open it up for you? Sounds great, thank you. Sounds great, thank you so much.
right now. Yep. What do I say? There you go. Clear, thank you. I don't feel like we're clear. We are. Parody all clear. Thank you very much. That's tax dollars at work. I'm Commander Coast Guard, Carolina Sector. Coast Guard has received a report of a person out of the water in the vicinity of position. United States Coast Guard, North Carolina Sector. Gave, like, There's a left. person in the water in the Albemarle Sound. We just got the word by the Coast Guard. They gave the lat and the long of them. We were just there. Pom pom. Pom pom. Pom pom. Pom 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 pom. We're not really any use because by the time we got there, hypothermia would have definitely kicked in. We're here. We're anchored here in the Alligator River. Nice beautiful sunset behind me. Kate's cooking us up some polenta. Ooh, yeah. Having polenta for dinner. Lola's there, just doing her thing. Feels good to be here anchored, finally. It's been a long day. We're just past mile marker 100 on the ICW. Hell yeah. Another great sunset. Hoping to have another great day tomorrow. It's supposed to be a little warmer than it was today, so should be good. I don't know, not much to say, other than we're here in the Alligator River. They didn't just come up with that name for any reason, you know? We haven't seen any alligators yet. But we Googled it. But we Googled it. <laughs> there is a 11 and a half foot alligator found in here with a bite mark in its tail. So they figured that there could be a 14 foot alligator easily in here. We'll let you know if we see one. I, don't know, I did see something in our distance before, yay. That's probably a tree stump. Alligator River. Mm mm, Chef Yate. Chef Yate over here. Oh yeah. Chefing it up. Chefing it up. We're here on the Alligator River, Pungo River Canal, and uh, it's, it's pretty narrow, I'd say. You gotta make sure you stay right there in the center, but obviously when boats start passing, you gotta make room for one another. Mostly a port-to-port -port pass will be all right. I'd say the uh, overtaking boats is what you really need to be concerned about because sometimes it can just come up right behind you. You don't even know until they're there. You gotta always make sure you're turning around and looking. But another thing you also have to be worried about is seeing debris floating in the water. So the debris could actually be, what you actually see is just a little bit of a twig poking up out of the water, but it could actually be a whole submerged tree trunk that you would hit. So I'd say avoid all floating debris if possible. They have a lot of trees alongside the river just knocked over like this one right here. Yeah, this is us, exactly. So, sorry about the bad service. A19, sounds great. We'll give, Mark, we'll give Mark a call. Thank you very much for helping us out. Just got off the phone with Sue from West Marina. I met her at the West Marina in Annapolis and uh, we started talking about uh, Kate and I traveling and the trip itself and 
uh, she told us she would let us use a slip that she had in uh, Oriental, North Carolina. So I just gave her a call up. Yeah, we got a slip for tomorrow night. I just got to call the Harbor Master and uh, yeah. Just fueled up at River Forest Marina and we're on our way to the uh, anchorage right outside Bellhaven. We're anchoring in the uh, Pungo Creek. It's just uh, just south, southwest of Bellhaven and uh, we just topped off our tanks, threw out our trash. And we're ready to go, you know? Can you go up there and um, turn on the uh, other running lights, the manual ones?